What's up, good people? It's your boy Laws, OSS 980, other side of sports. I'm in the building. We talking about the Wizards, though. It's, it, it just, every time I try to get away, stiff arm the team, they come back. It's questions, it's, it's speculations, it's all of the above, right? Uh, I'm chilling. I check my Twitter from time to time, and I see Damo. Shout out to Damo from, from Wizards uh, uh, Gallery Place podcast. Uh, he posted a scenario. Malcolm Brogdon, their first round pick, number six. We would give up old man Ish Smith. That Bama like 40-something years old, dog. I don't know how he's still playing in the league. Kyle Kuzma, Corey Kispert, and then our first round pick at number 10. And, you know, it was, it had the, it had the Twitter buzzing, dog. I'm not even going to hold you. I chimed in. I hit him with the emphatic no. And I'm just like, the Wizards don't have a plan. Like, what is the plan if, if you do this? Malcolm Brogdon, to me, right, is is Dinwiddie. Just, just a little bit better, dog. Just a little bit better Dinwiddie. And, like, you think about this team and what it needs to move the needles. Now, I... Trust me, I get it. I get the rationale. Malcolm Brogdon is a good basketball player, though. He's solid. I know Dinwiddie's a little bit of a stretch, but you get the idea. I just need a comparison, and he fits the mold. Dinwiddie has, of, as of late, had knee issues, feet issues. Bama only played like 30, 36 games this year. I mean, to me, that doesn't build confidence in the guy being able to come and have this great impact. First of all, the Bama's 31% behind the arc. That's trash, though. I can shoot better than that. If I'm getting 10 shots a game, I'm shooting better than 31%. I'm, I'm just trying to let you know. I'm at least make four. So I, I just don't. To me, he's not that upper echelon. He's a good point guard, right? But I don't think he's that guy, though. The Wizards, we just hover at mediocrity, dog. It's just like, oh, let's just get a guy. Just get off over the hump. And, like, it's we got to do something big and bold. And stop playing scared out here, dog. We, we, the Wizards, the moves that they're making aren't aren't really legitimate, like splash moves, dog. And some of it is, but it's not with a plan. So Damo, he he tweets back. He says, "Because I'm like, what do you get with Brogdon, right?" He says, "You no longer had a worst point guard rotation in the NBA, and two, you think that the talent at six is the same." As at, at 10 in this draft, KP and Bill have played zero games together. Unreal, unrealistic to expect a trade into the top four for another um, all star. Our assets not good enough. So I'm like, I just don't know if that's true, bro. I'm looking at the, I'm, I'm on the trade machine just like everybody else trying to put, put packages together and do whatever I can to try to get the team better, dog. That's what it's about. I think this is this is this is if the Wizards made this trade, I would not be pissed. I wouldn't Kirk. I'd just be like, okay, you know what I'm saying? I'd be like, okay, I, I get it. You know, in theory, I think it makes sense, right? But I don't know if if it's enough to move the needle. And I'm about moving the needle, dog. And if I'm gonna play anything I'm playing, I'm playing, I'm going putting all my chips in, dog. You go home broke sometimes, a lot of times, though. Facts. But this draft, everybody's in a consensus that there are stars at the top of this draft board, dog. And you need to try to get into that space if you can. Now, I don't know what teams is talking. I mean, this is, the, this is the year you got to get on the horn and rap to everybody, dog. You got to talk to every team, all 32 teams, see what they offering, see what you can get, see what the situation is with Bill. I've already, we already got the, the video. We need to figure out how to trade Bill, dog. Now or never. We got to figure it out. I heard there was a rumor about Miami trading for Bill. We get Tyler Hero, Vincent, uh, Caleb, Martin. Uh, I want Aladipo, too, in that trade. And then their draft pick at 27. And they get Bradley Bill. Dog, they ain't got the money, dog. They ain't got the money to make it work. It just, the financials is not right. So, I tried that one. It just, the financials ain't right. So you can go ahead. Miami fans, not happening, champ. You can scratch that. Question is, can the Wizards get in the top four? Or can they make another move that can, that can change the trajectory of our franchise? Answer is yes. This is a trade that I would like to see happen if it could happen. Now this is I know this is a little dream dreamville oh over here. What? <laughs> like, you know, but 
dog, if we could get the big three, change, let's stop playing defense and let's play offense. And let's try to get the big three. The problems with this is Thomas Bryant, he a throwaway player anyway, trash, get him off. And then you got a team option with Rui. Go ahead, pay him whatever, sign and trade. I don't care. Take the option. Get these Bamas off the roster. Now, Kyle Kuzma, I'm going to miss him, dog, because the Bama was extremely productive this year. Extremely productive. Bama hit clutch baskets, was rebounding at a high clip. He was balling out, right? And I think that there's potential there. And, and I would hate to see that go. But, dog, if you're going to go big, you got to get a superstar or somebody who's in that upper echelon. Now, I know Damian Lillard didn't play much this year, but, dog, let's just be frank. He's a dog. He gets it done. Cooker, score, all of the above, dog. You match him, you get him, you get Bradley. Bradley will want to sign back. You get you get him a player who can he can rock with, rock with, for real, for real, who's bona fide, legit. And then you have Porzingis. I think that is a good core three that can shape the East. You can play with the East at the, with that. You can play in the East with that. Lillard, Bill, and Porzingis as a base. And then you funnel in guys to try to like build around them. We know that the big threes, Jones, can go south when you don't have the complementary players to kind of, you know, keep things afloat. But, dog, I'm talking about being able to have star talent and people who can play, and you know they're going to give you 30 every night. You think about how much Bradley Bill has had to do carry this team offensively and scoring, dog. You bring in another bona fide scorer who can give you 30 or 40 some nights, like, it just takes so much pressure off. And then you have your own big three in the in the, in the nation's capital, dog. I know it's wishful thinking, but I'm saying, this is the kind of mindset that the Wizards need to take on. Some people saying, oh, you know, you get the number six pick, blah, blah, blah. You won't be able to get Mathurin. You have Brogdon and stuff. Dog, I'm just saying, I don't necessarily know or have the confidence in this regime. First of all, these evaluators, they've evaluated the players that are on this team up until this point, and it's been poor. It's been piss poor. So I don't have no confidence in them to be able to choose the right. You got to get as high as you can get and basically – Force feed them the right guy. Yeah, dog. It's like trying to give a baby food. You know what I'm saying? Baby just going, it's not going to get to the mouth to be able to eat. You're going to have to put the spoon right to the mouth. And the higher you get up in the draft, the, the higher the likelihood that the Wizards do not botch it and get in their own way. That's what you got to do. However you can get to four. I know that Sacramento, you know, they want their own big three. If they can get it. Now, I mean, at this point, you are Wizards, you have two options. You keep going down this path of mediocrity, trying to stay afloat, or you 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 make a change, though, a serious, legitimate change. And if you want to go full rebuild mode, then go full rebuild mode, dog. Don't stop half stepping it. Go for real. And if you're gonna go full rebuild mode, you know where it starts. You know where it starts. Aaron not going to agree with me if he was on the show right now. He it starts with Bradley. You got to ship him. Just just the this just the brute honesty. If you want to try to make this thing work and you're gonna to try to build around Bill and stuff like that, you have to make him want to stay, dog. And the only way you're gonna make him want to stay, not drafting a Bama at 10 and just saying, okay, we building pieces and just trust the prod. No, don't take that long. You're gonna have to acquire a piece that's gonna make him want to stay. That's just the bottom line. So, Washington, it's on you. You got 23 days to get it to get it together, though. We in the first of June, I think the draft the 23rd. You gotta figure it out by then. You need to be on the home with every team. Figuring out what all your options are. Every option for every player on that roster. Some of these trash bammers got to go. I'm sorry. Thomas Bryant, trash. Get him out of here, dog. I'm tired. Denny Abdi, people want to get I'm tired. No, get him off the rock. Like, these bammers aren't. They're, they're secondary and third type players, dog. You need cookers. Otherwise, Bradley is out of here, dog. He's out of here. Follow us at OSS 980 at Other Side of Sports. Uh, check us out each and every week. Subscribe to the channel. Share the content. We here.